What up, Cubers? My name's CC Cuber. Happy Easter. Um, I just got some cubes in the mail. Not today, because I don't think mail is running today. But um, we've got the Rubik's Clock. This is a Ling Ao. I'm probably totally saying that wrong. Sorry. <laughs> it's from Cubicle. Um, I also got all these cu cubicle bags for future competitions. I keep all my main puzzles in. Um, sorry. But yeah, pretty much it's an it's an interesting puzzle. I have it I have it right up there. Yep, there it is. I'll bring it down in a second. Right now I lubed it and it's kind of the the only thing that I don't like about it is that the lube is sort of ruining the front face of the clock which I don't know if that's a normal thing or if it's just the brand but other than that I do like the clock a lot okay so I wanted to show this box because this is like the best puzzle box I've ever gotten surprisingly <laughs> it's like everything's in Chinese and then this is this dude I don't know if this is like, maybe I just bought a weird um, clock, but I don't think I've ever seen this type of clock. It's a weird brand. I've never heard of Ling Ao. It's L-I-N-G-A, capital A. Oh, I'm probably saying it totally wrong, but whatever. It's just like, and normally on a Rubik's clock, that all the Rubik's clock that I've seen, you just have the, the word Rubik's, or the two words Rubik's clock underneath. But this, it's not there. It's just this dude here. This animated guy. It's kind of like... Like, wait, I'll do a pose. I'll bring down my... One. Let's see how he does it. Wait. Turn. Let's see. He's, gonna hold, he's like... He's, he's totally Yu-Gi-Oh in it up. Like, this is like the future of Yu-Gi-Oh. This <laughs> Clocks. Rubik's clock. I choose you, cause it's my only puzzle apparently. Okay, I'll try and do this. Okay, this is gonna be an epic fail. What it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm horrible at anime, but anyway, it's right there in the bottom. And on the, as I call it, the daylight side, he's there as well, which is kind of cool. Maybe I got like a unique, you know, rarely seen uh, clock. Um, so the Rubik's clock is unique, very easy to solve. Just get all of your sides to 12 o'clock. And surprisingly, what you do is you work on one side. Once it's complete, you flip it over and nothing on the back will be affected while you solve for this side. And just like anything else, I've realized that everything starts with a cross, apparently. I know that square one is not a cross, but, you know, for the most part, all speed cubes are cross. And then you just solve corners, and then flip it over, and then do night side. That's how I do day and night. Um, like I said before, the lube's not doing really well for it. Um, when, I, when I put the lube, it's sort of like taking away there, but it's dried a lot. So, it's, it's going pretty well too. I'll show you how it turns. So, right here, since this is up, everything here will turn when I turn the side right there. And uh, pretty much that's the easy part because all you have to do is just keep track of what you're turning. And then the ones that are down, those are the ones you don't have to turn, so those are solid. Um, okay. So, pretty much. It's a very cool puzzle. I want to enter a competition coming up. Just like the, the Magic was a competition, this is the brand new competition. It's been around for a little while. And uh, I'm glad that I have a Magic now. So, um, if you have this Magic, just leave a comment. No, Magic. <laughs> it's late. If you have this clock, this type of clock, let me know. Um, if there's a certain tweak I can do. It's, it's actually really smooth now amazing what the silicone does. I use uh, this brown brand. Ooh, I can't talk. Blaster. And I use that for all my puzzles. 
surprisingly, like, it's working, like, right away. Usually when I do it on a puzzle, it's, it takes forever for it to harden. So, that's the Rubik's Clock. I'm going to do a solve later on, and a tutorial on how to do it, because this is a very easy puzzle, and uh, if you're not in many Rubik's competitions, or events during a competition, I highly recommend doing Rubik's Clock. So, keep cubing, and until then, have a great day.